There are 350 seats in the Spanish Parliament. 176 are required for an absolute majority. Spain has been unable to register such a majority in the last few years. Last April, the polls returned a hung parliament in which the PSOE, who had the majority, was unable to form a coalition with any other party. This return to the polls has brought further complication instead of clarity. The PSOE once again has a majority, but not enough to form government. In fact, they've lost three seats. The PP has made inroads, but they remain 32 seats behind the socialists. The major headline is the leap forward made by Vox. The party, who once again vowed to close the border between Spain and Gibraltar, now commands the third largest bloc in the Spanish parliament, 52 seats, up from 24. Unidas Podemos gained 35 seats, down seven from April. The biggest loser is Ciudadanos, whose 57 seats are now down to 10. Following the results, the caretaker Prime Minister Pedro Sánchez said it was his priority to form a stable government and do politics for the majority of Spaniards. Unidas Podemos leader Pablo Iglesias said he was ready to begin talks with Mr. Sánchez. However, even if they do form a coalition, they will have 155 seats, 21 fewer than the 176 required to form government. One of the core issues at the centre of the Spanish election has been Catalonia, with tensions following the failed independence bid in 2017 continuing to dominate Spanish politics. In La Línea, Gibraltar's neighbouring city, where 10,000 workers commute across the border every day, the PSOE registered 31% of the vote, just 7% ahead of Vox, whose popularity has risen from the 15% they got in April. Similar results were returned across the Campo, with Vox trailing PSOE by a couple of points in Los Barrios, San Roque and Tarifa. In Algeciras, Vox actually won the popular vote, with 28%, one ahead of PSOE, and 9% up from April.